Good morning, everyone. Now we are going to see a part of crystal physics that is Miller indices. We know very well that crystal is dependent highly on planes and direction, or we can say that crystal is actually a collection of large number of planes and direction. So to, in order to identify a plane or to designate a direction, Miller, a scientist, suggested a method. We are going to see what it is. Basically, Miller used three numbers to designate a plane. And these three numbers are called as Miller indices. By definition, Miller indices are three smallest possible integers and they have the same ratio as the reciprocals of the intercept of the plane concerned along the three axes. Now, let's see how to find out this Miller indices if a plane is given to you. Consider this plane ABC which is cutting x-axis at 3 point, y-axis at 2 point, and z-axis also at 2 point. Now we need to find out what are the Miller indices for this particular plane. For that, first we need to find the intercept made by the plane along the three different coordinate axes. So x-axis, the intercept is 3a, y-axis, the intercept is 2b, and z-axis, the intercept is 2c. We have to now find the coefficient of these intercepts. For 3a, the coefficient is 3. For 2b, the coefficient is 2. And for 2c, the coefficient is again 2. Just find the reciprocals of these intercepts. So it would become 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Now, convert these reciprocals into whole numbers by multiplying with the LCM. Here the LCM is 6. So multiply 6 by 1 by 3 it would become 2. Again, multiply 6 by 1 by 2, it would be 3. Same 6 multiplied by 1 by 2 again, it would become 3. Now, enclose these numbers within closed parenthesis. So, this now represent Miller indices. I repeat, a plane is given to you and if you are asked to find what are the Miller indices of these plane, you have to first find the intercept along the three different axes. So here the intercept are 3a, 2b and 2c. Find only the coefficient of the intercept. Take the reciprocals of this intercept and convert this into whole number by multiplying with LCM and enclose those numbers within parenthesis. This indicates the Miller indices of that particular plane. Okay. Now let's see the Miller indices general representation. Usually, Miller indices are represented by letter HKL. This HKL are actually equal to A by P is to P by Q for C by R. This is for any crystal system. But for a cubical system, we can write this H is to K is to L is nothing but A by P is to A by Q is to A by R. These are the rules to define Miller indices. As we already had told, Miller indices should be enclosed only within closed parenthesis. There should not be any comma in between the numbers. And while reading the numbers, it has to be read only as 263 and not as 263 because there is no relationship between this three number. So if the numbers are enclosed within closed parenthesis, it is plain representation. The same numbers if represented within square bracket, it is direction representation. And if it is represented by a curly bracket, it is a family of plane. I'll tell you later what is meant by family of plane. But negative Miller indices are also possible. That means crystal, since it is dependent on direction, negative axis representation are also there. And uh, if a crystal is cutting a plane along the negative axis, it is represented by a bar over the number. For example, here, bar to represent the intercept is actually at minus 2. Okay. Now let's see some examples of how to draw Miller indices plane just by giving this numbers. So the number now which is given is 100. Zero, zero. Now we need to draw a plane. The first step is actually to find the reciprocals of these numbers. So one reciprocal is 1. 1 by 0, it is infinite, and 1 by 0, again, it is infinite. That means x-axis, it is cutting at one point, 
and y and z axis the intercept are at infinity so if the intercept are at infinity that means the plane which i am going to draw that has to be parallel to that particular coordinate axis okay so x it is cutting at one point and y and z they are at infinity so i need to draw a plane that is parallel to both y and z axis so this is the plane the pink shape where this is parallel to y axis also and parallel to z axis also so 1 0 0 is this particular plane see another one example which is 1 1 0 plane so first we need to find the reciprocal so x it is cutting at one point y it is cutting at one point and z it is cutting at infinity that means the plane which i am going to draw now that has to be parallel to z axis x at one y at one so i have this phase diagonal now i need to draw a plane so i have to draw a line in the opposite phase diagonal this pink shape now is 1 1 0 plane another one example which is very very simple 1 1 1 plane you take the reciprocal first again it would be 1 1 1 now x axis is cutting at one point y axis it is cutting at one point and z axis it is cutting at one point draw lines connecting these three points so this is what is the plane 1 1 1 so 1 0 0 plane is something which is passing through any one of the face of the cube 1 1 0 is something that is passing through the face diagonal 1 1 1 is something that is passing through a body diagonal this is one example of a 2 0 0 plane 2 0 0 of course you know now that you have to take the reciprocal so it is half so x axis is cutting at a half a point and y and z axis they are parallel so this is the point where x it is cutting at a half a point and now my plane is parallel to y and parallel to z so this midpoint plane is now 2 0 0 i know that negative plane representation is also there so this is bar 1 0 0 this is my origin now and if this is my x axis this is what is my minus 1 now so bar 1 0 0 is actually a plane which is along the negative axis here okay now let us try to understand what is meant by family of plane as i told you 1 0 0 plane is actually a plane which is passing through any one of the face if i change the axis representation then 1 0 0 would be same as 0 1 0 which would be same as 0 0 1 and bar 1 0 0 0 bar 1 0 and 0 0 1 bar they all also come under the same family so this 1 0 0 plane consists of all this six plane representation here let us understand it very clearly with this example the family of 1 1 0 actually represent all these 12 plane how this 1 1 0 would be same as 1 0 1 if i just stain the axis representation x y z here similarly bar representation is also same instead of taking this particular portion as origin if i would have changed the origin portion here 1 1 0 would be same as bar 1 1 0 0 also okay the only thing is 1 1 0 0 is actually a plane which is passing through the face diagonal so all these 12 planes belong to this particular family only okay i hope everybody had understood how to draw a plane using a crystal miller indices representation the remaining part we will see it in the next lecture thank you everyone